back to part two of the chat with Paul Fatty Vorton. There he is playing for Manly, of course, for Queensland, for Australia, the coach as well of the State of Origin team. And I was looking for some stuff on the internet, found an old Wally Lewis clip with the best of, and uh, listened to one of the names setting him up for a big try. Yes, there you go, Paul Fatty Vorton on the burst and setting up the King Wally Lewis for a great Queensland State of Origin try and it was awesome catching up with Fatty at Vintage Cafe on the Gold Coast for a quick chat about dreams and that's where we'll pick up the interview, Fatty talking about his favourite memories. The other highlight for me was in 1995, you know, as coach of, of the Queensland team, uh, we'd lost three series in a row, 91, 92 through 94, and I was given this ragtag bunch of guys, it was the start of the Super League War. Yep. And um, talk about dreams, I mean, that we picked some players that probably no one had heard of and no one's ever heard of since. And, you know, we dared to dream that we could beat the might of New South Wales, who had 11 internationals in their squad of 17. We had one. And uh, we pulled off the impossible. We actually beat them 3-0 in the series. Um, and two, I think it's... It's almost nearly the highlight of my life to be involved with those guys and to see what they did and talk about blokes realising dreams. Well, Fatty, you know, going back to that, how, how did you approach that in the dressing room when you are there? What sort of stuff did you say when you knew going in how underdogs yeah. you were? What sort of stuff? How did you coach them to a win? Well, inspire them? The thing about, the thing about uh, life and rugby league, to a less extent, is belief. You, you've got to believe in yourself. Yeah. And... You know, as a player through the 80s, whilst not being the greatest player of all time, certainly not the worst, but not the greatest, I believed in myself and I, you had to go to extraordinary lengths sometimes to get the job done, which was my job, which was running and tackling and, and all that sort of stuff. And even times where on the field and you, you could hardly breathe, you couldn't you know, raise a spit, your mouth was dry, you were bleeding, you were buggered, but somehow you had to find the energy from within to keep going and nine times out of ten I did that and because you have to it's your duty and so having been through all that during the 80s with Queensland and given the chance to coach this ragtag bunch all I did was spoke to them about about that and that nothing is impossible and I shall give I give them I remember I never forget the first 20 minutes the meeting that we had I give him 20 minutes of, of Fat's best. You know, it was almost Churchill-like. <laughs> and, you know, this and this and this. And seriously, at the end of the 20 minutes, they were getting very edgy and they wanted to go out and play. They were ready to go and I knew that I had them. And, but then again, to do what they did, they had to do it on the field and, and you know, they killed it. It was, it was unbelievable. It was, and even at the end of the third game at Lang Park, we'd just beaten them again. They, they, they were almost, New South Wales were almost in disbelief that they'd been beaten. But I do remember Phil Gould, who was their coach, and it's the only series that he ever lost as a coach. He coached eight series for six wins, a draw and a loss. He came up to me and he said, mate, he said, that's one of the greatest efforts I've ever seen. He said, you should be proud of yourself and what you've achieved and I said, oh, it's very nice to say, Phil, thanks very much. I didn't know him very well. I said, but mate, you know, I'm proud of the players, what they did. And, you know, it was a great thing. I think it's one of the great happenings in Queensland sport. Yeah. Was that you? Yeah, definitely one of the best stories, that's for sure. And, of course, every year, Ray Warren, Peter Sterling and Fatty Vorton make it such a thrill for us watching at home. Now one of the most exciting youngsters in our game. 
Let's just go back quickly to when you were playing in the in the eighties and stuff, and you're sitting in a dressing shed after going out there against the biggest stars in New yeah. South Wales. You look around the dressing room, and you got Lewis, Meninga, Miles. What was that like, mate? Well, it was a pleasure to play with them. I mean, I took them as far as I could. You know what I mean? <laughs> you did. Well. I carried them, carried them quite a few. <laughs> no. yeah. Look, they were. I was pretty lucky. I've known Wally since we were thirteen. Uh, he was playing for the Cannon Hill All Stars, and I was playing for West Mitchie Panthers. <laughs> And we knew each other, and we we uh, we became great rivals. Actually, during the during the uh, late seventies, he was the uh, he was the long-haired lout, then playing for Valleys under 18s and I was the red-headed shit house <laughs> uh, from West Mitchie. And but we played for Brisbane together under 18s and Queensland together. We became good friends, and and all through Origin, you know, he was a, such a special player. Yeah. But you know, it wasn't it wasn't just him. That that team, I think, had some of the greatest players that have ever played the game. Uh, Mal Meninga, Gene Miles, um, you know, Dale Shearer certainly came on the scene. The system, you know, Alan Langer came on the yeah. scene, you know. One legend after but yeah, but before him, you know, there's blokes like Mark Murray and Greg Kanescu who are old-fashioned players who just got the job done. You know, Greg Dowling was just sensational. Trevor Gilmister, we roomed together for three years, and I, I love the bloke, and just uh, great times, you know? But it was just one legend to another. You walk around, but we didn't think at the time, I'm, well, I'm walking past a legend, you know, I'm, so, Wally, mate, do something. Can you do something this second half? You know, mate, come on. I'm sick of doing your tackle on Wally. That sort of, you know. But in the, in the end, when all their careers are done, yeah, you know, you they've all become legends, Wally and Mal and Gene. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was great to play with them. Why do you think in Queensland it means so much, Origin? Obviously, every Wednesday night, three of them a year, we yeah. just sit on the edge of our seats and it means everything. Why do you think that is for us? That's the, that's the question that we get asked a lot as former players. It's a very hard one to answer um, because it, it does come from within. We did, you know, I remember going to Lang Park in the 60s and early 70s and watching Queensland get flogged you know, week in, week out, you know, it'd, it'd be 40 nil, 30 nil, you know, and we'd uh, go home disappointed, shed a tear, and, and we all did that, we all came through that era, and I think when we finally got a chance to for a bit of payback, it was like, well, we're not going to let go now, let's just give it to them, we sort of developed a, a real hatred for New South Wales, and like, when, when I was on the field, and I really didn't see individuals. Uh, I saw a blue jumper, and I thought, right, I don't give a fat rat who's in that jumper. I just got to hit him. I got to tackle him as hard as I can, I'd be effective first, put him on the ground. But in if I, can, I'm just going to give it to him, you know. And that's how we all felt, and that's why it was such a special era. And you know, as I'm 50 years of age now, I sit in the commentary box, and I, I still get edgy on State of Origin. I can tell on your voice, mate. When yeah, you're like, contacting. <laughs> so you know, I wish I was out there, you know. <laughs> And, and, you know, they, we still feel that way. But it's very hard to describe. In New South Wales, they, they keep, oh, you know, it's, it's all crap, it's all bullshit. Well, it's not. It, there is something. It's very hard to put it into words, but there is something there. And, you know, they'll, they'll never catch up. Yeah, well, let's hope not for all the Queensland fans out there. We're going for five in a row this year. That's what it's all about, the trophy there, Fatty with Dale Shearer. But uh, there's Fatty talking about some State of Origin memories. And in the last clip, we'll wrap it up with talk about how he got into the media.